Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary John Zell campaign. This is episode 10. We pick it up from turn 61 in the winter season of 194. So before we jump back in game, I uh, just want to take a quick look at the map. It's kind of hard to tell from this view, but if we switch to diplomacy, we can see that we're doing quite well. Uh, green is us and blue is all the rest of the old turbans. And this gray is the Leon Rebels. So we're carving up the empire quite nicely and we have a piece of the south and we're hoping to expand on that uh, this episode here. So down south we ended up taking the large city. We gotta downgrade this, upgrade the research. Over here we're gonna continue to push into Liu Hong's territory. Yang Feng is actually guarding this. So we are probably just going to have to... Oh actually we can delegate so I didn't really want to fight this. Uh, just a lot of men. We just have a lot of men as well. I want to capture him. Hmm, perhaps I want to increase the capture chance by fighting for a better victory condition. But I'm not sure if we can actually fight for a better victory condition. Let's save a little time. I just want the armor for trade purposes. We can't actually wear it, so let's delegate. And he survived. I don't know if we captured him or not. We did, so Yang Feng can die now, and we can take this Gilded Turtle. Just gonna add it to our collection. Now I was thinking, instead of wasting both of them down here, I'm actually gonna send him this way, towards the Salt Mine, and then we can annex this, and we can also wipe out Zhou Xin's faction. They will continue to move forward, uh, go through the Lumberyard into the Weapon Craftsman, which is what I really want. That would help us out a ton. And elsewhere on the map, let's see... They're just defensive, and here we're starting this siege just so that we can stop Zhang Bao from taking Luoyang. So we're just gonna hold here for 7 turns, or for as long as we can, and then try to not take it. Hopefully they all disperse. And the cost of taking that is basically we will trigger the end to the Mandate War, and thus we won't have our Fervor anymore. And Fervor right now is granting us quite a bit of income because it can shelter us from any negative public order. So she is coming back. He is preparing. This is the key. Maybe next turn we'll get another character. We'll see if it works like that. And that's about it. Uh, let's continue here. Alright, so Jump Ball's group is quite scary. Disease? That's not a good sign, but um, they're just standing here. Hopefully they keep moving. Uh, this army's coming back. I'm not gonna be too worried about them. Hopefully they don't go attack us. That would be a smart move. Let's see, what else can we do? Alright, the Leon Rebels have an army here. They're fighting Yuan Shu. Good luck to them. We'll just march through, trying to go get this. These are just small fries along the way. Alright, we got ourselves a nice level up. Flaming shot check. Now, let's go this way. This is ready level 3, so it's maxed out. We didn't get the Simon to pop, but maybe it could pop next turn. We'll send in some lower level generals so they can level up. He's going to be all healed by the time he reaches the rice paddy next turn. And we are going towards the salt mine. Alright, Zhou Yu, a different Zhou Yu. Once we fight him, we can check his actual name, but I think he's Zhou Xin's relative. Um, Zhou Xin is not related to Zhou Yu's family. Yeah, we don't have any new territories to take. I just have to wait this part out. And we're also waiting for reforms to get us more enlightenment. We need the Ascended. Eventually we'll trigger Emperor. Yeah, I think we're good. Our supplies are doing okay. We will be able to siege for a while. Hopefully they disperse. Maybe we can... Okay, now we can actually give them a target. Perfect. So... Why don't you go after 
this regional city right here. It looks very difficult. I'm sure you guys can do it. Hopefully they listen. Let's continue. Alright, sadly it doesn't look like they want to move. Everyone is peacing out with the Leon Rebels. Wait, including... Hui? I'll declare war. Oh, he's dragging us. He's gonna drag us into the war. Right now he's not. He's not getting an alliance war, but I don't know what gives him the confidence. Maybe it's the lack of armor plus the concubine. Over here, we need to summon an army. We'll just summon our best generals. And they should be strong enough to take care of this. We'll pass down some weapons in case they need it. And plus the garrison in the copper mine. Yeah, we should be able to handle that. Uh, doesn't look good here. I guess we have a couple more turns to buy ourselves some extra income. Down south, this is just a nice free pickup. Give us a nice stable source of food. And some zeal, because a lot of casualties here. And Liu Hong is destroyed. So Cao Cao owns this. We're having some strong enemies show up. Um, Sun Ce owns this. Hmm. It's gonna get interesting. We're gonna secure the weapon craftsman, but then I think we wanna go this way. Oh, Sun Ce has a stack. Han Dong? Zhu Zhi. Okay, so historical champions. Or here, uh, generals. So I think with this group, what we're going to do is we're going to send them on another pilgrimage. I'm going to have them annex uh, the Jianye right here, and then we're going to pop into the water. Sail, sail, sail all the way down. Hopefully no one hits us in the water until we get to... Well, it's a long way, but until we get to here. I want the weapon craftsman back, or to belong to us. And then we have both weapon craftsmen, and hopefully we get some nice weapons for our armies. Alright, rest of the map seems fine. We might need to summon more forces over here. This looks kind of scary. We do have this nice building here for us to uh, bolster our manpower here. This is also a small city, so technically we need siege weapons. So maybe this is a good time to build our second siege unit group. So Shen Fu could actually do some work here. Now no one really works well with them. Ooh, we have people in our we have people in our pool. Three veterans. Alright, higher, higher, higher. And we didn't get the notification pop for uh, assignments. So two blanks in a row. Um, we're gonna send one of our healers out. I mean, they technically could still trigger it, so maybe we'll keep them out there. Um, let's see our new guys real quick. So he's also quite nice, sorcerer. Monk, okay, two good ones. This one already has insight. Another monk, so three generals real quick that could all have siege weapons. That's wonderful. It just happens they also kind of get along. Alright, we reached our seasonal deployment limit, so that's why we can't recruit anymore. Um, I'm gonna give the units to... who has more cunning? 57... Ah, they're about the same. Both pretty bad. Um, they're both one level away, but it's easier to level the level 2 character, so we're gonna actually give it to him. It's very excessive to go 6 trebuchets, but due to our low ammo and for fun factors, we will actually give him 6. No one else can boost his... there you go. Take some extra cunning there. And for him, we can go different routes. Um, maybe for a six of these. Uh, but 
we'll think about it. Uh, maybe we won't use him in this army after all. Right now I'm just putting him here. Uh, we have a bunch of other generals that we could redeploy. Including three that are just sitting here doing nothing. So I think... We can recall these. They're not really serving a purpose right now. These are at least doing something. And it looks like John Ball is just gonna look at us and keep making sure that the older brother is doing the right thing and not letting the Han armies go. Alright, so that was nice. We picked up some three uh, new veteran characters. I guess in the future, even if we trigger the assignment, we might want to get some scholars because scholars give very good faction wide boost. Alright, so we just got to an annex and then we'll send him sailing. He'll pick up the fishing port and they'll keep going. Over here, weapon craftsman, then we're going to loop back and actually fight Sun Tzu and Cao Cao, so that would be pretty fun. Um, but right now, let's continue. Alrighty, so let's just start here. That's what we came here to do. Oh, it's a level zero. Okay. We got a free general out of that too. Random event. Got a healer. Singer is good because we get reach. Also brought us a tycoon. Interesting. We can give that to one of our tribuchet generals. Alright, we have a nice level up here. I think we're going for Ephelish Flow. And I think the combo from... Well, actually 3% Industry into Ephelish Flow will be quite nice. So we got the Tycoon. Any new characters for Court? Wonder who got destroyed for those to be triggered there. Oh, Lady Ding. Zhang Fei? Right, Liu Bei died really early. They can't siege this, they have no siege weapons, so if they go for it, we can go back. Perfect. That's very nice. Zhang Fei still has his Serpent Spear. Alright, we'll go Annex. Uh, yeah, we'll heal on the way, I think. That'd be fine. So I'm gonna march this group out. Take a peek. No one's home. Alright, if that's the case, let's see. We can actually replace him. I feel like it's a waste to go two tribuchet generals in one group. We'll just swap him for... I guess we'll take a healer. See, Liao Hua is not able to field tribuchet, so I think we can maybe throw him in here. We're going to steal this item. There we go. So Liao Hua has no flaming shot capability, but he does have fire arrow capability, so we might actually just give him either Proachers or Archer Gains. Archer Gains have more ammo. They do the same damage, but the extra ammo here does help a little. Extra health too, a little bit tankier. Uh, obviously, we can also wait for our 225 range Archer unit. We just need a couple of reforms to get there. But I think right now, Archer gain is going to do it. And over here, we actually get a front line to protect our range units. And uh, there is the mustering bonus, but uh, I don't think we need it. We'll be 50% regardless, so... It's going to be two turns. I think we, we might... Yeah, it's 50%. We maxed it out, so two turns to be fully replenished. We'll be fine right here. He's going to annex. He's going to come back. Oh, our poor leader. Oh, we got a rebel group. Hmm. They're sieging us. Oh, we can just beat them back. Yeah, we're not going to take attrition for the siege. Uh, we could fight this. Hmm. I'd rather not, actually. It's not very fun. They're all kind of destroyed already. We'll save the fight for Sun Tzu's army. Handong's looks pretty enticing there. There we go. Alright, they held nicely. They're weak. We'll keep sieging. Buy us a little bit more time. And let's see if there's anything to be built. We're gonna rush this. We need an artisan. 
Oh, we need level 4 buildings. Oh, crap. Okay, so we can only get level 2, which is a shame. The main difference is a lower percentage chance of producing the unique weapon, and also a longer wait time in between weapon spawns. So I think it's one year shorter for each level up. So potentially you have a chance to spawn weapon every three years or versus every two year versus every one year with like a minimum of two turn cooldown in between or something like that. So getting at higher level is definitely better. But we don't have access to artisans, which requires this. Mm. Maybe we'll be lucky and Tianye will have a level 4 state workshop in there or a level 4 private workshop in there that we can just convert over. But that's kind of the goal. Yeah, we'll save the fighting for armies like this and the full stack over here. So let's continue for now. And we want to fight Han Sui. Yes, go go fight Han Sui. Go, go move somewhere else. No, Alright, here comes back the Lions of the Lotus Tree. They actually haven't been asking for a while, and they switched uh, to a Dobell asking. Interesting. Alrighty, Tao Tian signs of Everyone's piecing out the Mount Rebels. We finally got a reform. We're at 210 now, which is quite nice. 8 turns for 15 turns, and 5 turns for 10 turns. Not bad. 2 turns for the... this was a what? 4 turn one? We don't need these, the units aren't that good. Um, we could start getting some building unlocks, but I think we still want more units. Yeah, this is the 225 range units right here, the lands chosen. Um, also tier 5 mine, not the right version, but not bad. I want these, I want to spam these instead of peasants, uh, because Huang Lao's Paragon, look at their damage, it's just insane. This damage is nuts. 73 base, 18 armor piercing, combined 91 damage if you have no armor at 27 attack speed at level 1. Like he has such good potential here. It's a half unit size, but it's still very, very good. They're basically peasants on steroids. Uh, so we're going to go down this route. Plus, level 5 horse pasture is nice to pick up. There's nothing else I really want. We already got those. Um, Archer gains. Uh, obviously, the highest tier, you know, cavalry and such are nice to have, but maybe we can wait till this goes up a bit more because I know at 250% we can lower it to six turns, I believe. Right now, it's not that efficient. All right, so that's taken care of. This army's popped over. So maybe we actually fight them before we fight Hull's Halt. Our siege weapon can't get up here, but maybe we can get into reinforcement range. It's not fully healed. And ambush battles... Uh, ambush battles not good for us here. I, I could just take this real quick and still fight him next turn. And we can heal up. I think that might be... Oh, actually, the siege weapons are fully healed. He cannot escape right now because he's on march. I think this is our chance. The only bad thing is the siege weapons coming as reinforcements, so either we have to draw them closer to us or it's just going to be a long setup. I guess I can cut the setup off, like just cut it out until we get the fighting started. Because I want to see... I mean, no flaming shots, but like we can get the infantry line to clash and then just bomb the whole area. That would be quite nice. Uh, that's kind of the dream play. Like setting up something for this was my original you know, idea when I thought about how to maximize zeal. Uh, that way we can use this to kill off some of our own units too. So let's see if we can pull that off. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we're loaded up in here. Somehow they picked... I guess they picked next to the mountains. Where's our reinforcement? So behind us. Okay, so we're gonna actually move everyone back. And let's see... It's, oh, it's beautiful, this river right here. Put the tower right there, put some spikes right here, fire right there. I don't know if they're coming for us, I doubt it, but we're going to move back a little bit just in case. And I'm going to set up, I mean it's not going to be a long setup actually, we might not have to cut this out because it's actually quite close to where the army is. Um, we're going to get our toys set up right here next to this river, oh, actually no, keep moving. That house is blocking us. 
There we go. Nice and perfect. We're going to use the generals maybe to draw them over. Um, call these guys too. There's one more coming. Once again, the house is kind of blocking us. Now, you guys don't need to be on this side of the river. You guys can be there. They can go over there. We can maybe squeeze them in. Let's do, th let's do two and four maybe. And we can just block out that house. Wait, did those not register? Yeah, these two didn't register. There we go. I mean, they're not going to see the tribuches. That's the biggest problem. But maybe we can get them to chase our generals around a little bit. They're set up pretty nicely. I feel like if we... We can also set up here. But I, I feel like they would come at us if they see the tribuches. The question is how can we make them see the tribuches? That's really the only question. Hey, we could lay out up front here. I think then we can reach them. Alright, let's modify a little bit. We'll start moving these guys into ambush positions. Alright, we'll cut it out until the tribuches are in position. See you guys then. Alright guys, uh, we're in position. We're out of range, uh, which is a little awkward because we gotta move up like all the way over here if we want to be in range. But I put everyone in ambush. And we're going to try to use these officers to lure them over. Um, we have... who's our strongest one? I'm trying to figure out... Uh, we don't really have a strong one. Yeah, we're not dueling, so I guess no one's dueling. Maybe if we can just get one of their cavalry to chase us. I don't want to waste ammo. We just need to get them to about right here. That's all we need. Come on, just some innocent looking generals. Only six of us. He has the bow. Get some shots out. I mean, I don't believe their cavalry is just not going to come at us. We're going to fire all our shots first. Actually, I want to hit Handang. Come on. Yeah, we're hitting him. He's losing health. 2k per shot. That's pretty nice. I mean, all the damage are inflated uh, on extreme, so it's about the same ratio. Alright, I'm going to literally walk up to them, see what they do. We always have disorient if we need to run away. Come on. There we go. They just need to get shot a couple times by the siege weapons, then they know they're there. I mean, technically they see them now. There's no invisible sign of them. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. They're responding. Well, the range is not that long. Just gotta chase a little bit longer. I mean, at this point, we can just swarm them and kill them. We have a bunch of abilities. Alright, tell them not to move. We also have heal. Alright, if we kill the general, I'm sure... Right, we'll just dump everything right now. Yeah, the, the three condemn is going to really hurt. The morale hit too. Alright, all right, we got some units interested. There we go. Alright, 
Alright. Chase us. Just chase us right here. It's firing. Alright, we should get some reaction from them soon, hopefully. Once the rocks hit them. Alright, we're gonna make them stand here for a little bit. Our rocks are not that inaccurate. Oh, they're all they're all rank four, so not that bad. Alright, let's see. Do we get some action here? No? Come on, guys. There's no really good spot for us to hit them from. Uh, kill the general. Time to expose yourself. Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Okay. We did it. Alright, we're gonna turn it on once they get closer. So our ambush party comes out. Let's bring him down. Who has the group heal? Alright, watch this. Everyone heal up. Everyone heals up. It's a range heal. And there's three charges per battle. Pretty insane. Alright, they got cavalry incoming. Um, I don't think we're gonna use up our siege weapons on the cavalry. We should have the other disorient coming right back up. Yep, we can stall them. Hold on. Move them this way. This is our man. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. Alright, they stop. We go. The anti charge. So that takes away most of their damage. Alright, they're coming, they're coming. If I turn it on now, they're gonna hit them. Alright. We should pull this part out so the, cap the range units keep moving forward. Alright, we're gonna pull them back a little bit. We'll leave the generals here. Alright, let's go. Let's see how this goes. Hit them. There we go. Wow. Six tribuches OP. Let's hit the same spot one more time. Oh, maybe we should. Alright, let's go hit here. Uh, a little bit wasted here. Do we have the other cooldown? Oh, please stop moving! There we go. Take another round for us. And then we'll fire Will. Right, wait till they get closer. Right, these guys are going to miss out if they don't come out right now. They did their job. Alright, time to free fire. Pull them back. Surprise! Alright, time to throw our peasants in. Ambushing farmers. Plug that hole up. Oh, they didn't get to leave. Alright, go help. These guys were just standing in the back. They gotta chill. We'll cover all the fronts. There's gonna be units in here. Throw them here. Throw them this way.
Ah, uh, too bad we didn't have flaming shot. Cut them off. Keep going. Just have so many men. Alright, cut off the archers retreating route. Flood them over. Alright, did they win? No, they won. Alright, this cavalry unit might actually break through. Archers might actually have something to do. This seems to be the toughest spot. We're just gonna fire. Don't worry about our own men. We have very accurate trebuchets, believe. See, 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 pretty accurate. We're not hitting our own guy. Where's the other shots? Oh, oh, oh here comes. Uh, that's close. Danger close. Mostly on the enemy, I have to say. Okay, we used up all the shots. Yeah, mostly on the enemy. And that definitely cleared the pressure here. Oh, we didn't cut off anyone. Alright, we can definitely chase. Basically, Jujur is staying alive, keeping the morale still stable here. Archers didn't even get a fire. Yeah, the ambush in the forest is too much. Yeah, bump into randomly, you know, 8,000 farmers. Actually, how many do we have? We have... 18, each one's 240. Let's say that's 250 times 4 is 1,000, 18, 4,500 ish. A little less than 4,500 ish. So 4,000 farmers. No, we get two more. 4,500 ish. Yeah, it's like 4,400 ish. Not bad. Good number. Alright, they're bouncing back a little bit. Uh, they can just chill, it's fine. We'll have them help out. Plus, I think the second he dies, uh, we win. I think the morales will collapse at that point. Maybe stop chasing. Right, we can actually stop people from running. We have that option. And the cooldown should be all be back. So one slap is enough. It's mainly a morale slap. Right, it doesn't even have to hit many units. Just basically destroy their morale. Alright, he's done. That's it. I think their morale is going to collapse too. We could facilitate that. We have a bunch of uh, splash damage here. Did we lose a mount? No. We're still all on our horse. That's it. That smash did it. Minus 85. Assuming no one else recovered? Okay. Bad assumption. Okay. We're done. Not a bad fight. Alrighty, let's see if we captured anyone. None of them died. We got a horse. Cunning horse. So that's going on. Ooh, nice silver weapon. I mean, we're killing everyone. That's the policy. So... Let's see... Do we have... 
Okay, so he's the first one to get reach. That makes him automatically the commander. You get a nice horse and you get a nice axe. All right, we need to turn them back onto the city. Uh, they're pretty beat. I don't know how many more armies he will have, but we're fine right now. They are sieging the city. What if we march? Can we get into the reinforcement range? We can't. I mean, if they take it, we take it back. That's the simple solution here. Alright, now that they're... Oh, well, they're not full healed, so I guess they keep going. Oh, but the thing is, they're gonna lose... Uh, we can't march them now. It's fine. We'll just go annex that. I wonder what happened to the units. Would they go to the pool? Would they, you know, join us by some chance? I believe all the buildings are done. Just a quick check. Everything should be level 3'd off. Taiyuan, we could keep going. We have food now, secured from the south. We're not getting characters, which is a bit unfortunate, but we'll keep trying. Maybe we just have to cancel everyone and uh, reset them. Alright, so the south is taken care of. They're not leaving. Hmm. Well, jump all left, so that's a good sign. Xingdu is getting siege, that's all they're telling me here. And over here, I don't think we're chasing them down. We're just defending, that's our job. Alright, I think we're good. Let's continue here. Oh, it's Sun Tzu's turn to ask for peace. Alright, Han Sui peaced out. Alright, we got one. We got one from the last turn, the one we just added in. So we don't need any more veterans, we got a bunch. I believe scholars are... Humility. Because compassion sounds like healing, sounds like healers. So I'm gonna go with humility and see if I'm right here. Yep, okay. So, well, wrong click, but we got a farmer. Uh, not that useful. Peasantry income? It's okay. I'm curious, I'm most interested in insight. This is not like one of the better ones. We get commerce right away. Sometimes you get insight right away, which is the best in my opinion. Uh, these Tian are all scholars skills. There's like four of them. And then some of these are D, our veteran skills, Ren and our healer skills. We have a whole video series on it. We got ourselves another general, Ling Hu, another farmer. We'll take her. We'll take everyone. Everyone's welcome to join. And speaking of joining us, where is that annex option right here? So many armies. But you're ours. Okay, level 4. Ah, oh, close, level 3. Not what we're looking for. So they gone ahead and have a level 4 in, which is nice. Can't complain about that. Uh, we should go for income. I'm gonna give it uh, a minister. Actually, conversions cost doesn't get cheaper. Well, he has 10% commerce. That's a pretty big winner in my book. Unless we can find someone better. Ooh, all sources 5%. So industry is also heavy here, so that's also good. Right, another one of those. Let's see who has good uh, skills. Okay, so she can get intuition. That's huge. So that's a plus. There is this public order uh, penalty on her, but that's that's fine. Yeah. The 5% is from... Oh, okay, ambitious. Uh, not what you want to see on your administrator, but that seems to be the only way to go here. He can't get intuition, so he's out. Who's the other person? There was one more. Uh, Wuba is pure commerce boost. Where is he? Alright, nothing good. So I think it's gotta be him. 
a her, Ling Hu, Ling Hu Xiang Jing. She feels like a real winner here. Yeah, we just recruited her, and immediately she gets picked. So we're also going to build tall here. I don't know if we want to keep this. It does provide a decent boost, but flat income should come first, honestly. And plus forge is also really good for industry, so I think this got to go for now. We might build it as like our sixth building. All right, we're getting armies popping out left and right. I want to sell them out, so I don't really want to. Where did their Where did John Face Army go? Huh. They vanished. I hope I bump into them. Oh, there we go. Found them. Can we actually hit them? No. A little disappointing, but that's fine as well. Alright. Gotta get there. We can split up to go a little faster. Oh, they healed this much in one turn? Yeah, they have huge replenishment here. He must have flexibility as a skill. So, uh, this is what, Lumberyard? Oh, bamboo Lumberyards are really hard to take with peasants. I'm gonna try to starve them out. I, I feel like they'll come out and challenge us during end turn. And that's gonna be a more manageable fight for us. Yeah, let's do that. We're running desperately short of supplies. Two more turns. I mean, if we lose all the supplies, it's winter, it's rough, but if we lose all the supplies, we'll just get attrition, which is no big deal. Alright, kind of want another army. Alright, we're going tall. And it's working again, so... We'll keep going. Okay, we're good. Two more turns till the end of the Mandate War, it seems. Uh, we're at 72. The map is just getting eaten up by us. Um, yeah, we're gonna touch all three forces. Meet in the middle. John Ball's listening to us. Oh my, is he? No, he's not. He's, uh, maybe he is. You never know. He's coming down. But he left three armies here, and the Leon Rebel is also watching us, and Wang Shao is here too, so we're going to have to take it in two turns. So say goodbye to our nice income soon, but let's keep going. All right, they did charge out, so we're getting some action down south. Sun Tzu is doing mainly most of the fighting. It's tough. Let's see if we can actually win this. Let's go. Peasants, one last time. Alrighty, so our advantage is that they are coming in waves. The garrison, the main group, which is actually like the most dangerous group, is actually coming second. So if we like rush them, I mean it's it's, it's a gamble because like we're weak. We're not that strong, but I feel like this might be the way to go. At least this is the way I want to experiment. I mean, if it doesn't work, we lose. No big deal there. Alright, three. Charge. Yeah, they're, they're way in the back. Two, keep going. One, keep going. Man, they give us no respect. Well, he's full healed. Oh, right, because they got knocked out completely. They have resiliency. This is a new general. Zhuzhi died. Are oh, they both new generals? Level 4 new general. Okay, so they're going to meet up with their friends. I think it's best if we fight in the forest, because they have a lot of range here. So our master plan of rushing them is not going to work. Hmm. 
How do we use this terrain? They're the attackers. We're the defenders here, so... Let's call these one. I'm just gonna call these two. One is really strong. We got three nice splash damage attacks. I'm gonna... Probably have to stretch them all the way out here. They're just gonna line up and start charging us. Let's see if we can pick off a few of them. Alright, one guy has recovery. One, okay, two of them have morale boost. Okay. Decline, decline, not dueling. Gonna run back a little, buy us a little time. We're not all hidden yet. Why are you not hiding? Maybe just a bad batch of trees? Wait, I thought I declined dueling. Oh, it's one. Okay. One on three. Bad idea for them. Once they stop running around, and maybe once the horse get here, we'll smash the ground. Alright, wish our troop luck. Uh, not the right time. Alright, let's do it. Okay, this might be actually really dangerous for us. We have to just unleash and get out. Hopefully we knock out all the cavalry. A few of them are just running around. Okay. We gotta go. We gotta go. Back to our friends. Can't let our general die, then the morale is really gonna tank. And plus we got recovery, so we just need to buy time. Alright, we have our line out way too far. Close them in. Close them in. Pull them back a little. Yeah, we're gonna overkill that group first. Alright, pick off whoever's vulnerable. Cooldown takes a while. Alright, swarm them. They don't seem to have fire arrow. That's a big plus for us. I right, brought one down. We need to stay close. Morale, morale boost, morale boost, morale boost. That AT morale is worth a lot. Alright. It's let's see if we can pick off a general. Come on, just hit him a few times. Hit him a few times. You guys, come to the side. Ha! 
军士兵正在溃逃。All right, keep the archers busy. That's all you gotta do. She bounced back. That's fine. All right, they moved out. Try to flank. We're just here stabilizing the morale. Okay, grab one. Keep moving this way. Wait for the cooldown, and then we'll be able to smash them again. Get her. Why don't we kill her? How are we doing over here? Alright, we caught some of them. This group got caught out in the middle. That's fine. It's bound to happen. We didn't send enough to kill the archers. Charge! Oh, move back, move back. Morale boost needed everywhere. Alright, this group keep coming this way. Alright, no need to chase. Let's get rid of this group first. One at a time, one at a time. We could loop these. I mean, we need them here. Actually, we can maybe spare two of them to go over there. We just need one guy to stay around and buff. Let's call these three. They can go hunt down some range units. Move them out. We're boosting. They just feel, they just feel isolated on the flank. Come on. Alright, they're fine. Maybe we just need to get rid of this group first, the captain, and then we can have them flood over and this guy will feel more stable. There we go, just need a few good charges here. Alright, close in that rank right there. Maybe go out a little bit first, don't run into anything or else they stop moving. Ah, uh, that group is too vulnerable. It's okay. He'll bounce back. These two clean up for a little bit. We have to smash again. Alright, let's see if we can go all the way in. Go, 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 go here. Alright, that's good enough, that's good enough. Smash. There we go, and the morale hits on most of those units. And we can cause a chain route here. Oh, flank, flank, flank. Split up, one each. They killed everything else. Fight one, fight one. All right, we broke this group right here. Now most of these will bounce back, so it's not the end yet. Unless we can route these real quick, which I doubt. But the good news is, archers eventually run out of ammo. See, they're bouncing back already. Alright, gonna speed this up, use the smash on them. Doesn't need to kill, just need to inflict that morale damage. Yeah, they're coming back and they're actually forming the surround on us. It's not great. Yeah, they're running out of ammo already. We might need him back here. Oh, oh, actually these boys need to stay on their original targets. There go, stay on that. Uh, 
Uh, actually, I need him back. I need him to be back to get them to route one more time. Alright, we just gotta hold. It's gonna be rough, we don't have many men left. They're doing well. Well, they're trying to shoot them. I'm gonna ignore this group for now. He'll stay with the main group. These two will fight them. Call this seven. He's bounced back. Charge. He doesn't have recovery, so I need to send him out. Just a little bit. So we can be behind the troops. Cause he's going to give them morale boost. Oh, they're routing. No. This group's all gonna route. I can't do anything about that. Alright, they won. Yeah, this group is lost in the forest. I need to pull him out. We just have to hunt them down with our generals. This turned out to be quite a rough fight. I mean, we expected it. At least it wasn't fought in the lumber yard. Alright, that group's all gone. Alright, we're gonna have two troops right here. We're gonna have three smashes, which is gonna be good enough to win. Yep, yeah, they got us good. We're not gonna be able to take the lumberyard, because this is them fighting coming out to fight us, and we just left bodies. Look at that. Our camera's getting pulled away, but like just a lot of bodies. Oh, we still have tower. We didn't even use that. We charged them this time. Alright, let's do three. Send these guys over here. Kill those. Alright, they got a few men left. No more ammo. Oh, they're starting to route though. We can just navigate around that guy. How do I kill this? Right, maybe we need to slow it down first. Alright, it's fine. Charge! That's our chance. That's our opening. Ah, uh, they have no energy for a proper charge. All right, let's try to chain route then. I, I want to hold on to the ability for as long as we can. All right, we're fine. Fight, 
农民步兵在此。嗯，赶快，赶快，冲啊 ！Maybe we use one. 实际上 ，There we go. 实际一致，杀光敌军，进攻，停住。Going to use two. Maybe we need to use one more against the spear warriors. Oh, these two have dismounted. Oh, they can just kill them. Hmm, the troops are routing. All right, it's down to our three, just our three healers. I want to save one smash. All right, you can use yours. There we go. Smash before you smash before you route. There we go. All right, they're routing. All right, gonna have him chase them, and we're gonna chase these for a little bit. Make sure he turns white. That was close. Come on, wave that white flag. Be like your friends. Never come back. There we go. Ooh, tough fight. There we go. We are left with three men. Alrighty. So we lost quite a bit. Uh, they lost quite a bit, but they have a lot more remaining um, than us, and we're all very weak. Nice amount of zeal. Alrighty, Tao Tian has died too. I don't know if this is old age or from war, but his wife takes over. Uh, this is a pretty good place to end our episode here. Maybe it's from war. I don't know. We've been fighting them. They're down to two territories over here. Uh, we're having a pretty rough time here. Um, we have a few level up. I don't know if we can take them, but we'll check that at the beginning of next episode. This is going a lot smoother here. Now, Tal Tal is going to have some stacks and some good generals too, so I'm probably going to have to make these two team up to attack a small regional city here in Jian'an. And elsewhere, our peasant group is set ready to go sailing uh, to take down the fishing port and then get ourselves a weaponsmith Well. We gotta stay busy here with He Yi, clean up some armies, find where Zhang Fei went, and uh, probably over here, and we'll come help them out a little bit. And the main thing next episode is that the Mandate War is finally gonna come to a close in the year spring of 196, as we have one turn before we automatically take the city. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and see you all next time. Bye!